They take chances on the bases when the ball's on the dirt. Here's a chopper off the plate, and Elvis Andrews called off Beltre and got the out. See Beltre, Tim peel off, and I think Elvis said, I've got it, and he did. You can see another smile from Adrian Beltre. <laughs> it's exactly, watch him, watch him straighten up right there and peel off. Something happened while Mac was on his way up here to the booth. They had that double play in the fourth inning, last inning, off the bat of Jordan Pacheco. And Mac, I got to have you look at this. Now, Beltre is, Andrus kind of peeked uh, to his side as he was making that play, and, El and uh, Adrian got all over him. <laughs> I love that. Huh? When the guys can go out there and have fun messing with each other about a play, I'm sure Billy's telling him, hey, uh, maybe, maybe you should open your eyes next time so you can see that play. It's a nice play. <laughs> maybe everybody doesn't have hands like Adrian does. <laughs> that is so true. Here's Adrian going back into the dugout. And Elvis barely feels it. <laughs> he got a little. That's like getting kicked by a mule right got there. a little karate like. kick to the knee. <laughs> you know, you can have your good nature fun with Adrian, but don't carry it too far. Between innings, I don't know what Elvis said to him, but he said something, then ran away. Adrian threw his glove at him between innings, hit him in the back. The umpire just started laughing like crazy out there. Oh, who's the second base umpire? Jim Joyce. <laughs> oh, you missed it. He was just he was just about ready to fire the glove at him. Watch, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> and that. <laughs> He's got a Beltre's hat on. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. He got a fastball. He got a pitch that time. <laughs> Take that, Elvis. That's going to be a disabled trip for Elvis right there. Bad back. And he's popped up. Shallow left field. Adrian Beltre and uh, right in front of Elvis Andrews puts it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing those guys don't have any fun playing the game. Elvis, Elvis gets a little bit into his space right here, though. A little bit too close, to be honest with you. Elvis uh, reading Adrian Beltre after the sacrifice fly, and Adrian getting instructions from Elvis. <laughs> yeah, that may, may be how you do it, but here's how I do it. <laughs> Home run number four for Adrian Beltre. I'm waiting for him to turn around and punch Elvis. They're good <laughs> friends, but Elvis is going to push it too far one of these days. Elvis is pretty, Elvis is pretty good at keeping his distance. <laughs> Let Beltre. <laughs> He's like Floyd Mayweather. You're not going to. You're not going to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> And Ellsbury pops one up. Elvis back behind Adrian Beltre. Elvis makes the grab. One gone. Next will be Brett Gardner. <laughs> the normal. The normal for uh, Elvis saying, hey, that was my ball. And Adrian said, no, that was I was going to take it, but stay out of my territory. Didn't look like enough just happened for all that conversation. <laughs> well, they can turn a pop up into a, into a pretty good quarrel at times. <laughs> Fourth player in Major League history to hit for the cycle three times, three in this ballpark. <laughs> he doesn't mind Elvis hanging on him, grabbing his back, but if he touches his head, he, he goes bonkers. <laughs> My goodness. That's great. And Elvis, Elvis trying to uh, get under his cap a little bit. There you go. He's trying to salute you. <laughs> Elvis would have no problem <laughs> saluting the fans if he hits for the cycle. Colby with a payoff pitch. And he got a fastball in on his fist and popped it up. Beltre and Elvis, and Elvis just behind Beltre. Beltre is going to stare him down. 
Elvis time. Hey, the wind was blowing it back that way for my ball. <laughs> I think the, the one thing you can say about that at bat, the three sliders were balls. Obviously, either one of them could have caught it. Adrian's thinking it's pretty close to the third baseman right there. <laughs> Doesn't he know that I've got a few gold gloves under my belt? Not sure if that went as far as Elvis is, but it came close. Watch the head. <laughs> and if you're a rookie, don't touch that head. <laughs> Uh, Elvis getting behind Adrian and uh, popped him on the head a couple times. Adrian thought it was Rugdet. <laughs> he turned around and <laughs> almost smacked Rugdet. <laughs> and the right hander deals. Shallow left field. Beltre and Andrews angling out. Elvis Andrews making the call and the catch for out number two. Whether it's April or September, these guys probably go at it if they find each other on Christmas Day. Doesn't matter. Shaw pops this one up. Deep short. And Beltre will give way to Elvis Andrews. <laughs> <laughs> Two gone. Adrian was going to get back there and do that uh, little game that he plays with Elvis. And he, he saw the wind kind of taking that pop and said, I got to vacate the premises and get out of Elvis's way here. There's time to play games and there's times not to play games. Yep. That's the, not the time to play games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check the replay. Yeah, see? We're gonna do, we're gonna do this again. Chavez got Adrian to reach at a breaking ball the first time up. I figured he'd come inside with a fastball. Only it didn't work very good. Elvis keeps trying to touch the head. Adrian's having none of that. Can't get the helmet off. <laughs> he awaits the 3-1 from Perez, and he swings and lifts it high into the air, left side of the infield. Beltre is there. Elvis is coming over. And it will be Adrian who makes the play as uh, the left side of the Ranger infield uh, goes through its comedy routine. The out is definitely recorded. Elvis came over just to be a part of the shenanigans. Adrian had that all the way. Ranger shortstop Elvis Andrews is out onto the field. to present Adrian with a very special custom-made robe designed by Rangers reliever Jesse Chavez. Well played, Elvis. And how did you not see that coming, Adrian? Jeez. 